Hello and welcome to the Healing Streams Reflections. The title for today's post is The Basic Types of Prayers. In Ephesians chapter 6 verse 18, the Apostle Paul tells us that praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit be watchful to this and with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. And so we have different types of prayer. The first is prayer of petition or asking. In Luke chapter 11, 9 and Philippians 4, 6. This is a type of prayer when we go to God not as our father but as our lord and make our request to him this is a more formal way of making requests to god it says prayers or petition are requests and these must be made according to the will of god as revealed in the written word then secondly prayer of worship you can enter into the presence of God with worship and praise. Psalm 100, and f- Psalm 100 verse 4 tells us that enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. So worship involves giving honor and devotion to God. Praise, which is adoration. We praise God or express appreciation for who he is. This involves honoring him in word or songs or glorifying God for who he is. This involves giving all the attributes of God. And in thanksgiving, we give thanks to God for what he has done for us. This is expressing our appreciation or gratitude to God for what he has done. The writer of Hebrews chapter 13 verse 15, Ephesians 5 21, Psalm 95 verse 2, Philippians 4 6 and Colossians 2 28. So worship prayers may be accompanied by singing. Worship prayers also may be accompanied by audible praise. Worship prayers may be accompanied by shouts and lifting of hands, clapping, musical instruments, dancing, bowing, kneeling, or lying down. As Psalm 2, Psalm 9 verse 2 tells us, and also Psalm 9 verse 11, and then Psalm 40, 31, and also Second Chronicles 20, 19. Then the third aspect is prayer of agreement. Genesis chapter 11 verse 1 to 9. Remember when they were building the Babel, the Tower of Babel, the agreement was so strong that God came down and nullified the negative tendencies of it. And so Matthew 18, 19 to 20, if two or three shall agree as touching. So agreement in this sense has to be with the Father. When two agree concerning an agenda of God, that is where God comes in. You don't agree. You know, two can agree to murder somebody. Two can agree to steal. And so, when two people come together to agree to pray, without a covenant promise of God, to bring the hand of God into the prayer, it's not an agreement. And so, please take note of that. And so agreement is very, very important when two people or three meet together and then they introduce God's agenda into it. Exodus 17, 8 to 13, Psalm 133, verse 1 to 3, Acts 4, 23, Hebrews 10, 24 to 25. So this is the type of prayer when two or more people come together and agree with one another and with the word of God that something specific will be done. 
Then we have another type of prayer, which is prayer of intercession. Genesis chapter 18, 22 to 23, how when Abraham interceded for Lord concerning Sodom and Gomorrah. Then 1 Kings 18, 41, Elijah 2 had an intercession. And then 2 Kings 4, 32 to 36, Elijah 2. Then Acts chapter 12, verse 1 to 8, the early church also interceded for Peter when he was in prison. So this is the type of prayer in which we plead or mediate on behalf of other people. Then another type of prayer is repentance, Jonah 3, 8. This is a prayer in which we feel sorry for our evil deed and turn away from them. Then prayer of confession, Psalm 51. This involves confession of our sins to God and asking for pardon. It is believed that when David had a sexual affair with Bathsheba, he went to the Lord and then confessed it. Now prayer of supplication, Luke chapter 11, 9 to 13, and then James 7, 17 to 18, 1 Kings 8, 37 to 40 and then continue from 50 verse 54 to 55 prayer of supplication is a humble prayer to God pleading or begging it means to petition or entreat someone for something you see the word supplication means beseeching God or strongly appealing to God on behalf of a need as did Hanan entered into the house of God when he started pleading for God to give her a child. Now, praying in the Spirit, this involves allowing the Holy Spirit to pray through us. As the Romans 8, 26 to 27 says, in the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. Now it's the Holy Spirit that helps us in our weakness. We did not know what we ought to pray for because it, to get to a certain time, even you don't have the necessary words even to alter. But the Spirit Himself intercedes with us, so with groans that words cannot express. And He who searches our hearts knows the mind of the Spirit. Who searches? The Son, Jesus Christ, because the Spirit intercedes for the saints in accordance with God. So Romans 8, 26 to 27, pray in the Spirit. And then pray in tongues, praying with the Spirit. 1 Corinthians 14, 14, and then verse 15, and then chapter 14, verse 2. Now in this type of prayer, the Spirit does the praying. And our understanding is unfruitful. Here, the Holy Spirit does the praying through our human spirit. Now, Paul tells us, I mean, the writer of Hebrew tells us in Hebrew 13, 15, and also Paul tells us in Ephesians 5, 21, Psalm 95, verse 2, and then Philippians 4, 6, and the Colossians 2, 28. Then we also have warfare prayer. That's another segment. Warfare prayer. The forms of warfare prayer is also the now what is warfare prayer now Luke 10 19 Chris, I mean um, 2nd Corinthians 10 4 and Matthew 4 10 now this is the type of prayer in which the believer takes his rightful position of authority in God through our Lord Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Ghost and enter into direct confrontation with Satan and his powers of darkness and that is where the believer's authority comes into pray more prevalent. What are some of the forms of prayers and warfare prayers? Under warfare prayer, we have binding and loosing prayer. Now, binding and loosing prayer is necessary when people need deliverance and salvation. Now, in this matter, we bind what God bound and loose what Satan has bound. Again, listen. We bind what God has bound and loose what Satan has bound. 
and then we lose what God has loosened and then bind what Satan has loosed. You know, at times when you are praying, you have to pray that God will close certain doors that the enemy has opened for you. At times the enemy opened wrong doors for you and you think it's the Holy Spirit that opened the door for you and you start walking in truth. And at the end of the tunnel, you realize that it was the enemy that opened that negative door for you. So at times you have to pray for God to close that doors. Then rebuking prayer. This is a warfare prayer that is aimed at forbidding or admonishing. Now in the gospel we see Jesus rebuking evil spirit. Luke 4 35 and Luke 9 42. Jesus even rebuked the wind. Luke 4 Luke 8 24. Jesus even rebuked fever. Luke 4, 38. Especially when he went to Peter's in-law's heart. He rebuked the fever to come out in the name of Jesus. Today I rebuke any pain in you. In the name of Jesus. Be made whole in Jesus' name. Then commanding prayer. This is the type of warfare prayer which issues a direct command. In a commanding prayer, we issue an order or charge. In the gospel, we see Jesus using command prayer on evil spirits. Luke 4, 35 and Mark 1, 25. Jesus issued a command prayer and said, Be silent! And the evil spirit were silent. Luke 4, 35, Mark 1, 25. And then, Jesus used a command language and then commanded nature over nature, wind. Mark 4, 39. Quiet, be still. And then the wind was still, remember, in the boat when he was asleep and then the disciples wake him up. He says, wind, be still. To raise the dead, John eleven forty three. 43, Jesus called a loud voice, Lazarus, come out! So Peter, Peter used the commanding prayer to heal the cripple at the beautiful gate. Acts chapter 3, verse 6, Peter 2. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk! I command. In the name of Jesus Christ, those of you who are in bed with excruciating pain or feeling weaknesses in the body that cannot walk. I command you to rise up right now and walk in Jesus' name. Then another form of warfare prayer is casting out prayer. This type of warfare prayer in which we cast out or drive out evil spirits. In most cases, a commanding prayer precedes casting out prayer. However, sometimes it may be used alone. So Jesus used it alone to heal a demon-possessed man in Mark chapter 4 verse 8. Jesus used a commanding prayer. He says, come out of this man, you evil spirit. I command you in the name of Jesus. You evil spirit, come out of that person, that guy over there. Jesus also used a combination to cast out an evil spirit. He said, be silent and come out. So he used a commanding prayer and at the same time, he also used a casting out prayer. So he used both a commanding and casting out prayer. So in Luke chapter 4 verse 35 he says, Be silent and come out! So to cast out the death and dumb spirit. The Bible says, Jesus decreed and declared, You death and mute spirit, I command you, come out of him and never again enter, never enter again. Then to heal a paralytic, 
in Mark chapter 2, verse 11 and 12, he said to the paralytic, I tell you, get up and take your mat and go home. Oh, thank you, Jesus. What a commanding prayer. Together with casting out prayer. And so Paul also used the combination to cast out a spirit from a slave girl who had a spirit by which she predicted the future. In Acts chapter 16 verse 18, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to come out of her. Jesus has given us authority as well to cast out or drive out demons in his name. In my name, they will drive out demons. Mark 16 verse 17. Then we have statement or saying prayer, prophetic prayer. Now in recent time, we don't see people prophetically. Now this type of prayer is a statement a person makes and it's affected. And it's affected. Now it is the greatest principle by which you know life is sustained. Now this is a saying without an element of doubt. God used this to cause creation. God said, let there be light. And there was light. Genesis 1, 3. So Jesus says of, the, of, 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 the, of, of this type of prayer, for verily I say unto you that whatsoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be cast out into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe those things which he says shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he says. Mark 11. So Jesus demonstrated this type of prayer in cursing a fig tree. And so brothers and sisters, prayer as a tool for appreciating the goodness of God. Goodness is one of the divine attributes of God. You see, when we say God is good, what we mean or what we meant is that God impart life and blessing freely on his creation. See, the goodness of God is God's providential care for all creatures. You understand me? So the Bible says in many places that God is good. Example, for instance, that God, he says, good and upright is the Lord, thus he instructs sinners in the way. Psalm 25 verse 8. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of evil. Nahum 1 7. The Lord is good to all and his mercy is to all that he has made. Psalm 145 verse 9. Look at the best of the air. They do neither sow nor reap nor gather into bands and yet your heavenly father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? Matthew 6 26. So because of the goodness of God towards us, we need to always express our appreciation you know, to him in prayer. You know, in Deuteronomy or Deuteronomy, the Lord told the Israelites, when you have eaten and satisfied, praise the Lord your God for the good land he has given you. Beloved, be careful that you do not forget the Lord your God. But remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you the ability to produce wealth. Deuteronomy 8, 10 to 11 and 18. By this, God is expecting you and I, his children, to pray to him and express our appreciation for his goodness towards us. And so, brothers and sisters, I pray that the good Lord will continue to strengthen you and keep, keep, keep the spirit agrow. Keep it agrow. Hold on to your faith and declare and it shall be established. May God bless you. Bye-bye.